Dance fight. It's a dance fight. Oh, gonna win. oh, I'm being recorded right now. What do you think of my new eyebrows? <laughs> you know big eyebrows are in? You know, um, as an esthetician, whoever did your eyebrows did a really great job. Anybody mad? Can I? Whatever, yeah. maybe. Why didn't you try before you did? Better take the little one too. No, French accent, I feel. No, I feel it's more like this. No. Why? Why you take your hair and make it so colors? You're not my daughter. I'm very effective. It's just another... another my daughter is not... Not like this! Not like the color! With the hair! That's Kenny. Purchase point wines. <laughs> Look at that. Good, that's good right there. That's beautiful. All right, so, you see how you work the tool up and down? Yeah. Um, this way you're distorting the metal because you're twisting it, okay? And you're creating the gap. So, bring me a spreader. We got a gap. What's going to happen when your grandmother sees this? <laughs> She's going to tell me to go to church. <laughs> bathe in holy water. Is that holy water? <laughs> yeah. I love you here. So Drink water. Here is... Thank you. This is a very good girl. It's just because she, you know, make the color. Come on, this is not what makes a person a color. Come on, are we colors? No. No, we are not. If her hair is this wretched, horrible, foul, disgusting color and that makes her happy, then I'm happy for her to have this hideous colored mop. On top of it, thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. See, it's about being supportive. Thank you for your support. Yeah, Father. yeah. Thank you know, it's it's all about being good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And her hair is beautiful for the record. Oh. Her hair is absolutely beautiful. I can't even say it like in character. Horrible. Alright, so somebody managed to we gotta watch the car up top because we're gonna move this roof a pretty good amount. Okay? Roof's moving. Who's our next cutter if needed? I would. Alright, thank you, sir. You know, I just feel like I feel like, I think I think what's happening is my my filtrum is sweating. Oh. Do you know what your filtrum is? No, but you you need super glue? Your filtrum is the center part between I should know that. I well, I I, here's the thing, is I have a very deep filter, probably one of the deepest you've ever seen. You've probably never noticed it because my mouth's always in motion or I'm smiling. Mm, look at that deep filter. Wow. Get ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my god, there it is. Okay. Oh, that's impressive. Now look at the cool. space you've got to work. A deep filter. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a filter that deep in my uh. life. Cut this right here. I'm cutting my finger. Finger clear? Oh my god. <laughs> That's impressive. Like threading a needle. Watch this because it looks like eyes. Oh, it does. And look, it's got like eyebrows. Why? Why the tree with the mustache? Why? You should worry about your bark eyebrows. <laughs> bark eyebrows. Mike, you got a business card on you? Now we're gonna cut this. <laughs> Those teeth are pretty close together, I'm gathering. Colors is pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god. It doesn't even bend it. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at this. So you know you're getting a true cut. Wow. You're, not, you're not getting a cut that's gonna just build up a bunch of pressure and blow something apart. So you get you're getting a true cut out of it, you're actually cutting the metal, you're not just blowing it in half. That's cool, okay? That is impressive as I'll get up. So we can move around, we can move, put it back here. It goes in the scrapbook. Yeah. So much 
support. Zalaria, she's amazing and she's talented and she's wonderful and beautiful and... Oh my god, you're ridiculous is what you And are. she's in love with my son. I am in love with his son. Okay, her boyfriend, her boyfriend is the son that I never had okay. and I'm the father he never wanted. Yeah. We're shifting from one tool to the other, one tool to the other, grabbing and creating the space that we need without causing our patient a problem. Because if we have to push and then let it back down, we don't want to do that. And it's almost impossible to crib it with anything else but a tool. Yeah, right. So you you got to think two or three steps ahead. So you did your expansion. Now you're holding. Now so the ram is out of the way. The, the jaws are holding it up, and you got all that room to pull. Mm -hmm. Can I yes, sir. You buy any chance to do stand up? Yes, sir. I met you before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you taught me on my M class. Oh, you're uh, <laughs> your motorcycle? Player? Yeah. Uncle Mullet. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, no, no glove. This is, this is the brothers. The brothers are doing it. What's your name? Chris Blunt. I've worked with these tools, and this is one heck of a company. This is what I'm used to working with, and it's hydraulic. And it's got all the hoses to it, and man, these batteries. They're incredible, just how they, the amount of power they got yeah. is unbelievable. What? Ram. Ram. Okay, I want you to put the base right against here. Yes, sir. Okay. Crawl up. You're looking at me and you're going to go, why the hell would we want to push it this way? I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Pressure's gonna come off the jack in just a couple of seconds. Pressure's off the jack. Wow. Ready to bring the roof. How'd you start out pushing? Rolled it back in. It came this way, right? Right, right. So as the roof articulates, it brings the ram back and goes the other way. You would never, ever, ever even think, you would think, well, if I want to push it that way, I got to go yeah. from here and push it that way. Right, right. But in reality, if you go this way and push it here, it's going to rotate it back over. Now, you can get a medic in the car. Absolutely. Really, really easy. Yeah. I've got my extrication gloves in Christine's car and had those leather gloves, but another firefighter pointed out I might want to have, working around this metal, just something a little more stout, so I'll at least use these. Here we go, I'm gonna throw it to you, ready? There it is! You know, it's such a rare opportunity to be able to train in this type of environment. Because most of the time when we use these tools, it's, it's very serious stuff, it's life and death. And I'm honored to be able to use the latest and greatest tools, but I'm more honored to be able to connect with my firefighting family, especially in this, in this just fun and, and casual environment like this. Oh, I didn't even see it! <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened, but it was awesome. I didn't even know what they were talking about. I'm just so grateful to live in this little town of big-hearted people. I'm Scotty, by the way. Nice to meet you, Brienne. What's this man's name? Drew! Drew, you're doing it! Drew's living. It's such an honor to be able to work with all this knowledge. There's a lot of collective, what I call tribal knowledge here, and then they pass it on. Norman just showed a ratchet strap technique that was just like a game saver for the ratchet, you know, and just little things, all these little shortcuts, that's what it's all about here, is finding the most efficient and the safest way to do it. And then ultimately, uh, get somebody out of their vehicle so that they can get to the next level of care and live to ride or drive another day. You know, I've made just as many friends through my YouTube family, and Christopher designed our website. I gotta give him a call. Have you ever noticed that rings in other countries always sound stranger? Hello. Hi Christopher, it's me Scott. I told you never to call me here ever again. <laughs> yeah, but this is important. I told you, I have an active restraining order against you. Stop stalking me. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. That one little flower. So shines a good deed in a weary world. Just this perseverance you know there's nothing else around it in the next video i'm going to elaborate more about like carlos here but for now here's a sample keep living and keep loving man yeah keep loving life yeah see this right yep 
that's it right there. Yep, that's I love you. And, it, and if anyone is hearing impaired or they can't hear at all, if you show that sign to them, they'll know that means I love you. <laughs> Take care, Mr. Carlos. Oh, I gotta give you a quick update about Claire. Claire is an amazing, sweet, so attentive, loving dog who got attacked by a bobcat, and it was severe. Uh, infection so bad, she almost died. And now look at her. She has this family, this incredible family, and a, and a brother to play with. I cannot explain to you the joy. You know, Christine saves the dogs, and I try to save the people. We've just had a really blessed month. And something else exciting is happening. The new wooden nickels are here. We actually ran out, so thank you for hanging in there with us. All orders are going out this week, and this is the new design from Carl, another YouTube family member. Thank you, Brother Carl. So as always, y'all, be good to one another and live to ride another day. And thank you for helping us by sharing and watching these videos. I'm beyond grateful. No, the French accent, I feel. No, I feel it's more like this. Oh. Why? Is that holy water? <laughs> yeah. I love you here. Great water. Thank you. Thank you.